So what does it all matter? What difference does it really make whether these objects are almost black holes or whether they're donut-like plasmoids? Well, it does matter because what we learn from the cosmos often helps us a great deal here on Earth. In the 1930s, people discovered the energy source for the sun. By studying the sun, they discovered that the energy source of the sun is nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion today is a potential ideal energy source for us here on Earth. That was discovered by as studying astrophysics. Forty years ago, I was studying both quasars, which are the astrophysical observed phenomena that are associated with these condensed objects, and a thermonuclear fusion device called the dense plasma focus. And I realized that in the plasma focus, we had the production of these dense plasmoids, strictly with magnetic fields, no gravitation, and the production of directed beams of energy, ion beams in one direction, electron beams in the other. And I started to look at, could the plasma focus be used as a model for quasars, which are many orders of magnitude bigger? And I found that, yes, indeed, they could be. We could make predictions that worked about the quasars, and I could develop a mathematical theory of how the dense plasma focus works here on Earth. And in the subsequent period, I and other researchers have used these theories to actually develop the dense plasma focus. We don't know yet whether it will produce useful fusion energy, but it might. So having the correct understanding of astrophysical objects, like the quasars, like M87, like Sagittarius A, can actually help us determine whether we can solve the energy problem here on Earth. So it does matter. Thanks for listening. Accelerating Advanced Fusion Energy.